Salah everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're back at the same spot and we're doing another video. Now this time we're going to be covering all of the accessories uh, slash mods on uh, the brand new Model 3 Long Range 2021 edition. This is the first quarter one, so a lot of the new upgrades that they've done on the Tesla Model 3. Uh, now coincidentally, some of the things that the accessories at least will work on the Model Y as well, since they share a lot of uh, aesthetical similarities, I guess, except for the fact that it's a higher ceiling. For the most part, the Model Y is very similar to the Model 3. Now before we get into the video, I do want to mention that this entire video is going to be recorded with the primary sensor on the back on the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. So this is the brand new GN2 sensor that we have in here providing us 4K 60 frames per second as well as 8K 24 frames per second. I am going to keep the video at 4K 60 and that's how we're going to be publishing it. This is my Model 3 long range. Uh, this is the dual motor edition. As you notice, it's in black. There's no chrome. All of the options from the first quarter of 2021. Uh, and you can probably already see some of the accents and things that I've done to it. So we're going to start off by talking about uh, the mods and accessories that I've done on the exterior part of the car and then we're going to go to the trunk. From there we're going to switch over to the inside and talk about the, some of the things in there. And you could probably already see some of the stuff in there. Before we forget of course make sure you hit that like and subscribe as it helps the channel. And if you guys are thinking about picking up your brand new Tesla make sure to hit that link in the description to get some free supercharging miles. And the first thing we're going to talk about on the exterior here we're going to talk about some of the accent colors that you guys already see on the car. So I've changed or at least I've added basically uh, almost like a skin on top of the logo. Now this one typically is in silver so you can kind of see the silver and blue coloring going on there. Now that one accents very nicely and the kit that I picked up included stickers that not only cover that, that emblem, added one here to the side mirror as well as the door handles, both of them and of course the logo on the back. The main benefit of course of all of these is to give you guys a little bit more of a unique look. Topping it off of course with the official Tesla uh, caps that also changes uh, directly from black into the nice beautiful blue color. As you can see right there I have it on the trunk as well and because it's silver it provides us a nice dual color uh, blue and silver. It looks really really nice. So what we decided to do essentially is to get all of the glass on the car covered or tinted. The front I decided to go with a very very light ceramic uh, tint which almost looks like it doesn't even have a tint and you do need to make sure to actually have it installed by somebody that uses or at least works on Teslas as there's a lot of sensors that's present on the bottom to make sure that nothing gets impacted. Of course not to actually cover anything uh, as far as the actual cameras on the front. Now moving on to the side I went with a slider darker tint but still possible to actually see the person on the inside. You could definitely see my chairs and I'll definitely show you guys how it looks like from the inside. Now on the back as well as on the top and on the back side of the, uh, the actual roof I went with a much darker uh, film and the reason behind that obviously is in the back there's not really a big need for visibility so anything that you could do to customize and make sure that the car looks looks really nice and of course provides you with a nice little heat rejection and of course makes the environment inside of the car a little bit better so you don't have to actually use your air conditioning more often whenever on the hotter days as this actually reflects some of the heat and allows the cabin to stay cooler retaining some of its cold temperature from the AC. Now switching it over to the trunk uh, as you know the power trunk is built into the 2021 models. Uh, the other thing that I actually did here is I installed some water mats so this is just basically waterproof floor mats that covers the back now. They don't come in the same set as the one that comes on the inside of the car but this is definitely very nice. You can add it in there and it actually provides the protection so that you don't get any problems and of course if it ever ends up happening that your water actually ever comes down from the top and does spill a little bit this will protect the base or the inside of your trunk. Uh, the other thing that I also did here, I did a couple of modifications. You'll notice that the LEDs here have changed. I've changed the white LEDs all around the car, so they're now nice blue LEDs. And I'll give you guys, of course, a link to that in the description. I also bought the hook for uh, the Tesla Model 3. Now, that actually allows me to be able to use plastic bags or any, you know, basically grocery bags whenever we're driving around. And I don't necessarily have to worry about them playing around its entire back. Now, you can buy an organizer, but this little accessory just utilizes a screw that's present that makes it very easy to hold um, all your groceries actually up to three different separate bags in there and of course if they're long enough they can actually sit on the ground. Now one of the other things I do recommend as well is these little pucks. These are additional pucks that you do need to purchase. Uh, again there'll be a link for that in the description and this allows you to actually allow the car to be lifted or if you end up having to getting any work done on it at a dealer or even getting uh, your tire replaced and you want to be able to lift it on the side this allows you to actually uh, utilize the existing holes on the bottom of the car so that you don't damage the battery. Very nice and of course they come with their own bag. A lot of nice things that you could definitely 
definitely do in here and of course uh, this you know weather weatherproof mat definitely looks and functions the best floor mats do come in pairs one for the trunk and one for the frunk of course looks very nice and fits perfectly now let's get into the car and as you saw right there the handles have been uh, I actually have this nice little skin on them and uh, it actually it matches the color that I have but they don't come in the same kit so you can buy a kit that covers the door handles and of course the other ones to cover the logo all across the car pretty simple just put your finger open up the car now that we're inside of the car you could see that the windshield actually looks really really nice so even though I have it tinted it still actually provides me with a very clear view the side view here you can definitely see it looks really really nice and again uh, it provides us that protection that we're looking for lastly here is the back and of course the top you could definitely see there is an existing uh, actually uh, basically tinting on the top glass all I ended up doing essentially is just providing it a slightly darker tone but from the inside that's what it actually looks like now as you can see here as well we have another sticker that covers the logo that's present on the steering wheel which really looks very nice especially with that blue and silver sorry for that little bit of a lens flare uh, but it definitely looks very very nice now switching it over to the main console here and some of the things that I've done to the car first thing you'll notice is there is a nice little uh, phone holder now I understand that the brand new Tesla's have the dual charging docks that are present at the bottom and they work perfectly fine but I wanted something to be a little bit more close up to me because I like to use an an app on my phone that actually allows me to be able to use my uh, Android Auto functions in a Tesla without necessarily having to have uh, obviously Android Auto running on the car. And the app that I like to use is called AutoZen. Now AutoZen works pretty much almost like Android Auto providing us access to Android Auto applications and you can customize it, launch it, and you can actually use the map functionality, the music application, and all of it runs right on your smartphone and because it allows us to charge our phone wirelessly because of the dock having an actual charging cable that runs right you see right there at the bottom it actually works very nicely so I'm able to charge my phone and use Android Auto functions directly while I'm using my standard Tesla UI uh, driving system now one thing this actually does it actually mounts to the glass on the top so you see it right there and I do have a screen protector we'll talk about that in a second but it also includes actually a place to be able to put your glasses so there's a nice little area right behind it now you can remove this if you don't want it but if you do it definitely has a very nice uh, placement there so not only does it charge and hold my smartphone but it also has a place to us to hold our glasses now when we look at the actual screen uh, the main screen that comes with this obviously is a large tablet size screen that ends up being basically a fingerprint magnet on top of the fact that it actually has some reflective issues and depending on where you are now for us here in Southern California we have a lot of Sun so one of the things I decided to do is to put a glass protector from Spigen that provides me also a, not a glare protection on it so you can definitely see it it's very clear it's very responsive it doesn't really do much as far as actually reducing any issues we are right next to a supercharging screen station but the main benefit here is it removes that glare option you can kind of see how it looks like right there when you start seeing some reflections but it doesn't actually have the same level as you have it without anything on it also provides protection against any accidental uh, you know you hit the phone on the screen or anything like that to damage the display uh, works really nicely and of course it works really great with this holder as this one sits on the rim of the actual display and this one actually stops ever so slightly right before it and when I had to make sure to change the LEDs on the inside of the car as well uh, just to keep them obviously all in the same color uh, and the kit does come with four LED replacement light bulbs so you can definitely cover both the inside and the trunk of the Tesla now one thing about the compartments that we have here on the Model 3 both on the armrest and right under the charging uh, ports or the charging docks is that they no longer have the trays so you do need to pick those up directly now I decided to go with the Model 3 uh, specific ones from Tesla so I picked them up directly you can buy additional ones directly from Amazon I'll give you guys some uh, links for those uh, but the main thing here that you're able to do here for me I put in a controller and of course a wire to be able to play some of the games while I'm charging or supercharging my car the last thing of course is my adapter for whenever I'm actually charging my car at a non Tesla charging station but the tray itself is very nice fits perfectly so you go ahead and put it in there you can put your sanitizing bottle and what I really like about it if I just remove this it actually does slide all the way in so it's a nice little compartment that you have access to and you can put it in there uh, the bottle unfortunately is not big enough to go small enough to go so it does actually stop but I still have access to all of my uh, content here so very nice I'd recommend going in with it because it does provide additional storage otherwise you're gonna basically be uh, you know you can definitely go with a lot of stuff in here but this provides a very easy and very simple and of course this should should have still been in the car but 
you could definitely pick it up again. And as far as the floor mats in the car, I went with a slightly different brand. You could definitely see it right there. And of course, this provides us protection uh, against water, any kind of droplets or anything like that in the car. And they do provide them for here, for the uh, passenger, for the driver. And of course, they provide us a unified piece for the back. Now, as far as those charging trays, there is a set of them. So this one is for the underarm, the armrest one. Now, you have access to uh, the ability of putting in here. So you have your mask in there, a bottle of water. Uh, this is the charger, or at least a charging cable for the charger that comes with uh, the phone holder so that you're able to keep your phone charged. And it works perfectly fine with this one. You're able to put it in there, put your gum, anything that you want to be able to store. Of course, just close it looks really nice. The other thing that I decided to do with my Model 3 is I decided to use a larger rear view mirror. Now unfortunately this one doesn't fit the car correctly. I will find one that is more compatible for you guys. Uh, the main difference here of course is that it actually provides me the ability of seeing the entire back of my car. The one that comes with the Tesla is generally smaller and although it does the job it just I felt like I needed a little bit more viewing and of course you could see right there the Mi 11 Ultra. Uh, we're using that to film this entire video. If you choose not to uh, tint your car but you do definitely want to be able to get some protection from the sun especially to be able to have have something to help you reduce the amount of heat in the car. They do sell the, uh, these basically windshield uh, covers, essentially the similar ones that you would use on the front part of the car. But this one actually mounts and it has nice little clips. So you can definitely see them right there. It clips to the side of the, ed the edge here and you can install it. Now I have it installed right under my uh, tinting, but this is why I just wanted to show you guys how it looks like in a car um, from the inside so that you can kind of see how much it actually protects. You are still able to see through it. You can definitely see the light pole right there. It just provides us a little bit more protection and again it's a good alternative to tinting the car if you want to go with a slightly more affordable option well there you have it i hope you guys enjoyed all of the uh, accessories slash mods that we've able to do to the car again i feel like the blue tint or the blue color with the silver on the front on the side of the car and of course tinting it gives me the that look that i've been wanting to get tesla is becoming more and more popular and of course these cars are starting to show up a lot on the streets and i wanted to give that slightly more of a unique look to my car and of course uh, one of the other things i'm considering is getting into a wrap for the entire car and that'll be the next biggest project uh, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of these things are these appealing to you guys and if there are any other things that you guys recommend me doing to my brand new tesla 2021 uh, lawn range model this is tk thank you very much for the support like and subscribe as usual and of course i'll see you guys on the next one